Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will cover the details about the I.O. tools in Pandas. In this video, we will see about the I.O. tools in Pandas. We will also see how to add a new row and column to the data frame. Finally, we will save the updated data frame to a file. The Pandas I.O. tools is a set of top level reader functions that can read from text, binary or SQL files and returns a pandas object such as a data frame. The reader functions have their corresponding writer functions that will write back the pandas object back to a file. The documentation for the IO tools can be found in the given URL. When you open the provided URL, the page will be displayed with a set of functions of the IO tools that are used to perform read operation from a file placed under the reader column. Also under the writer column, you will be able to see a list of write functions. Consider that we have a simple CSV file that contains few columns such as student name, student number and three additional columns that contain marks in Max, Physics and Chemistry respectively. Let's now read the file using the functions from IO tools. Open Visual Studio Code and create a new file named lesson4.ipoinb and open the same. Import the pandas library as pd, create a new variable df and assign the read csv function of the pd object. Ensure that you pass the full path of the csv file within the read function. I have passed just the file name because in my case the program and the csv file reside in the same location in my hard drive. To display the content of the variable df, type df as highlighted here. Run the cell content. You will be able to view the content as displayed here. By default, you will be able to see only the top 5 rows and bottom 5 rows. For the program to display all the rows, you will have to set an option in the PD object named display.max rows as highlighted in the screen. I am currently setting the value to 0 which is supposed to display all the rows from the file. Run the program again and you will be able to see all the rows from the CSV file. Let's try to get the type of df object using the type function as highlighted in the screen. Run the code snippet. As you can see in the screen, the read csv function have written a data frame object in the df variable. Now let's add a row to the data frame. To add a row, we will have to use the append function. Any objects of type data frame or series or dictionary can be added to the data frame. Let's see an example. Let's create a new series using the syntax example as given here. Here we are creating a series object for a dictionary object that is enclosed within curly braces. A dictionary is needed here to ensure that the data goes into the corresponding columns in the CSV file. Once the series object is created, we can add the series to the end of the data frame object df using the append function as highlighted. The parameter ignore.index is a mandatory parameter and should be set to true if we need to add a series object to a data frame. Run the snippet. You will be able to see the content of the series being added to the end of the df data frame object. Now let's see how to add a column to the data frame. To add a column, we will use the insert function. The insert function will intake multiple parameters of which we will see the location, column label and the value parameters. Location is the index where the new column should be inserted into a data frame. Column label is the label of the inserted column. Value is the column content or the actual data that should be in series or array like format. Let's see an example. Let's create a new series object with an array of marks list as highlighted. Let's now use the insert function to insert the contents to the df data frame. The first parameter 5 indicates the index where the column should be inserted. The second parameter computer science is the column label. We will add the newly created series object s2 as the third parameter. Press enter and type df in a new line. Run the code. A new column will be added to the data frame as highlighted. The updated data frame can now be saved to a file using one of the writer functions. Let's now write the updated data frame object df to csv file. Back to the vs code, type the to csv function as highlighted and run the code snippet. After the code is run, you will be able to see an additional file being created in the same location as your program location. Right click and select reveal in file explorer. 
Open the file from the file explorer. You will be able to see the additional column added in the CSV file. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.